Katie from the OCI team and today we're going to talk about your contract schedule of values record. You can follow along with the corresponding job aid on the OFCC website. After your contract record has been approved in OCI, the contract schedule of values record will be created by the project coordinator. The contractor will locate and complete that schedule of values spreadsheet, then email the spreadsheet to the project coordinator, and receive and review the contract schedule of values record in OCI. We're going to navigate to your schedule of values spreadsheet template by going to the OFCC website at ofcc.ohio.gov. Then we're going to hover over the documents tab and click standard forms. Next, we're going to click the procurement tab and scroll all the way down the screen until we see the OCI contract SOV import templates and we're going to choose the one for the contractor in the cloud. You can go ahead and click the link to download it. Once my schedule of values spreadsheet has downloaded, I can open that up and I've already started working on mine. On slides four and five, of the job aid from the OFCC website, you'll see something about enabling macros. You can kind of just hold on to these slides in case you need them, but more than likely your macros are already going to be enabled. You can see here that I've already added a couple lines to my schedule of values spreadsheet. And what you'll notice is that I've added a short description and next to my short description, I put edge. I want to put edge in parentheses if that's going to be an edge line on my schedule of values. So that way when I go to bill, I can differentiate between the edge lines and the non-edge lines. I've added some amounts. And I've also added the subcontractor supplier's name. Now what's really important about that is to make sure that you spell the subcontractor or supplier's name exactly as it's spelled on the subcontractor supplier declaration. If I need to add any additional lines to my contract schedule of values import template, I'll want to make sure to add those lines by copying the entire row of the current line by selecting the number here on the left hand side with this little black arrow. Then I'll right click and choose copy. And then I'll right click again and choose insert copied cells. That way I've copied all of the information I need for those lines. I'm going to go ahead and enter one more line here. And now I'm going to name and save my spreadsheet. And then I'm going to email my spreadsheet to the project coordinator, the project manager, and the architect. Once everyone has reviewed your contract schedule of values spreadsheet, the contract SOV record will be created by the project coordinator in OCI and sent to you for your review. You will receive an email notification that you have a task pending that needs your attention. You can simply click on the Unifier login link to access that task. Once I access my task, I'm going to click Accept Task to begin work. And then I'm going to simply review the Contracts SOV Details tab to make sure everything is correct. I want to make sure to check that my subcontractors and suppliers are on the appropriate lines and that my total amount is correct. Once my review is complete, I'll choose my Workflow Action Approve in action details, I'll see who my record is going to next to the AE for review. And I simply click send. Once your contract schedule of values record has been approved in OCI, you will have the ability to create an application for payment. For more information on that, please see the application for payment job aid. If you have any specific questions about your contract schedule of values, you can always contact your project manager or project coordinator with OFCC, 
or if you have any questions regarding the OCI record, you can contact the OCI Support Desk at OCI at OFCC.Ohio.gov or 614-644-2211. Thank you.